Hey, what's up guys? Rudlinell here, coming back at you with another batch tutorial. Whoa. Whoa. That's not a- this isn't a batch tutorial, this is a Python tutorial. And I thought personally that I should take the extra measure, the extra step, the extra nine yards to make sure that that got into your head. That's the only reason I made that mistake right there. Not because I'm an idiot, but only because I wanted you to know that this is a Python tutorial, not Batch. Okay! Alright, we're working with the Sys module today, and we've been working with it with a past couple of videos, but this time, we're going to work with something new. And this is kind of like a simple, kind of a strange idea to talk about, but it's actually a little sort of like convention or um, standard for exiting your program. I know that's 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 it's weird. It sounds kind of silly, but it when you whenever your program exits from the command line or from any other process or that sort of thing, whenever something ends on your computer, it has what's called an exit code, and that exit code actually determines or like tells the system or it will even tell you as the uh, developer or the the power user, whatever you'd like to be called, how the program actually ran. And now, did it run successfully? Did it do what it needed to do, or did it have an error? Did something go wrong and that's why the program had to close so that's these are these are called exit codes and we actually can manipulate those whenever we exit Python or actually use a sys module and that sort of thing so there is of course with the sys, mo the sys module a way to exit your program and just like there is in typical Python and we're actually going to see this more and more even in a, the next upcoming module that we're going to be looking at in Python but they always have this optional parameter as to whether or not we want an exit code. So, just for some little experiment, just to show you guys what's going on, how we're going to be doing this, I'm actually going to break out of the Python shell in this video and go into the bash shell, or like the Linux command prompt of the shell. So I'm going to drag this over, you guys can see it, and um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and write echo. Now echo is the program, if you know batch or any other shell, this, is, this should be pretty easy. Echo is just going to give us some standard output. So I'm going to just say pretty simple, what's up YouTube? Now, uh, there we go. Now, bash, uh, this has this nice variable that'll let us know um, what the exit code of what the previous command was. It's actually a um, dollar sign question mark, and that is zero. The uh, last command, echo, the last program that we ran, had an exit code of zero. Now, zero is typically success. It means that it ran it ran well. There was no problems. There was nothing wrong with it. It successfully ran. Now, if I ran echo, what's up, YouTube, but I forgot the H, maybe? It says echo. It's going to be like, what? What, the, what? what are you talking about? Now, if we actually check out what the, uh, the variable is that... Uh, the exit code of the last command, it'll give us 127. Now, that's an error code. That's something, something was wrong. Something did not go well. It did not end in a zero, and we have a problem here. Anything, anything not zero is typically something wrong. Now, these typically have a sort of like specific convention of what the number actually means, and we're going to go into that more in a later module, but anything other than zero is bad. So, uh, that's what we're going to be working with in Python, because we've got the sys module and we can work something here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a new little script for us. Uh, very quickly and very easily, I'll just write a shebang line. Because, you know, it's been so long since I've actually recorded myself making some cool stuff. And I'm sure you guys remember the syntax the way that I typically operate. If name is equal to main... Now I have my little uh, commented curly brackets and that sort of thing. I'll save this as just file.python to make it nostalgic. <laughs> and I'll run our main function. We can go ahead and declare that or define it with the DEF keyword right up here. Now I typically would be using object-oriented just for good practice until you guys know what to do. But we're going to want, anyway, to import our sys module. So with our sys module, what we can do, just to make this pretty easy, I'm going to go ahead and print, hello there, and I'm going to have it do something strange. Hmm, what do I want to do? Actually, can I do import string? And I want to get some uh, fancy things in here. If I did import string, I want to actually have it ask for your name. And if there are any numbers in your name, then uh, it'll throw an error. Okay, so what we can do 
Hmm. What do I want to do here? Yeah, we can loop through this and actually make something interesting. So, let's say name equals raw input. This is some good review for you guys. What is your name? And uh, what we can do is we can start a for loop actually now. We can test whether or not there are anything in there. So, for digits in string dot digits, so for digit it should be, probably, that's a better idea. We can go ahead and test if, let's see, digit is in the name. Now if it is, what we want to do is uh, go ahead and exit, because that's, uh, that's bad. It wouldn't typically have a, a number in your name. So we can run sys.exit. Now you can see there's an exit status, or an exit code here, and we're going to say, like, plain old 2. How about that? Anything other than 0. That's going to let us, as the programmer or the user, know that there was a problem. If not, what we can do is do um, print... Oh, it's good to meet you. We're going to add on the name there little string concatenation and then we can do sys.exit just to be safe and so we as programmers know what we're thinking here we can exit with the zero exit coder status so that's pretty pretty simple and pretty easy now if I actually had a terminal open and try to run this I'll get everything out of the way here I'll make this uh, nice now if I ran python file hi there what's your name um John oh it's good to meet you John now if I were to check out what the exit code was with our little bash syntax here, that's zero because nothing went wrong. It, it The program ran perfectly fine. But if we were to run it one more time and I said John 3, 312, it's going to have a problem. It's not going to know what to do. So let's actually check out what the exit code was now. And in our case, it's 2. Just like we supplied inside of our... Uh, actually. As an, as an argument for our sys.exit command or function. So that's all that I wanted to get across to you guys. All that all that really we're going to be addressing in this tutorial is that there are these strange things called exit codes or exit statuses that determine whether or not your program ran successfully or not. And with the sys module, we can manipulate that. We can do that in Python as well, even without the sys module, but the sys module just gives us another way or another option to allow us to do that. In fact, if we were to remove sys as the preceding object, it'll still run this perfectly fine. Seriously, if I were to write John 32, it's not going to know what to do, but we still have 2 there, because the actual built-in function for Python actually has support for this exact same sort of syntax or mindset. So we can use an exit code as an argument for our exit command, whether or not we're using the sys module or even just a built-in Python function. So uh, there you go, guys. I Hopefully uh, that was pretty easy, pretty simple to understand, and something that you can learn from. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you in the next tutorial, and uh, I don't really have anything witty or funny to say to you for the end of this video.